Hello friends. In this video you will learn how to make a PIR motion sensor security system. This project detects motion using PIR motion sensor and then send an email alert with GPS location data to your personal email address using SMTP server and ESP8266. You can check the email alert from your computer as well as from your mobile phone. You can click on this link to check the motion alert location in Google Maps. In this project, I have used ESP8266. But you might also use ESP32 without making any change in the code. Next, you need an EO6M GPS module and PIR motion sensor. Let's look at the wiring diagram. Here is the GPS module. And I have connected the RX pin to D3 and TX pin to D4. For PIR motion sensor, I have connected the output pin to D5. And last thing, I have powering the both modules using 3.3 volt spin of node MCU. For demonstration, I have connected all the components on the breadboard. Let's look at the LED status of the GPS module. If the LED is not blinking, it means the GPS module is searching for satellites. And if the LED blinks once in a second, it's mean the module can see enough satellites to get the GPS data. Let's discuss about the working of this project. Here is ESP32 with PIR motion sensor and GPS module. And here is the SMTP server. SMTP means simple mail transfer protocol. This server is responsible for sending emails. You can use any SMTP server like Gmail or Hotmail. It's totally free. Here, our project sends motion alert data to an SMTP server. And then the SMTP server sends that data to the email address you have provided in the code. So, what you have required for this project is first sender email address and password second receiver's email address or your personal email address now we will create sender email account for smtp server i recommend to create a new email account for smtp server do not use your personal email account because if something went wrong in your code or if by mistake you make too many requests, then your account might be disabled temporarily. I have already created a new Gmail account for this project. But you can use any other email provider, like Outlook or Hotmail. First, you need to change the security setting of your Gmail account. Here, scroll down and search for Less Secure App Access. Now, turn on Less Secure App by clicking on the slider. That's all. The SMTP server setup is completed. Now, go to the Arduino sketch. Here, enter the email address and password of your SMTP server. Make sure never enter your personal email in this field. Next, here, enter the receiver's email address. You can enter your personal email here without any problem. Next below, I have entered the SMTP server settings for Gmail. But if you are using Outlook or Hotmail, then you can use these settings. The next thing, enter your Wi-Fi SSID and password. Let's understand the working of the code. In the loop function, here, I am reading the value from PIR motion sensor. If the motion is not detected, then this value will be low. And when the motion is detected, then this value becomes high. Below, this if condition checks if the value is high. Then, just send an email alert using this send email alert function. I have defined it below. Here you can see send email alert function. What this function will do? This function will get the GPS data from the GPS module. And then, it will send an email alert to your personal email address that you have entered above in the receiver's email address. Before uploading the code, you need to install some libraries. For that, go to the top of the sketch. The first library you need is the ESP Mail Client Library. Use this link to install the library. 
This library is required to send and receive emails using SMTP server. Next, install the tiny GPS library from this link. Also, install the ESP32 or ESP8266 board by using these links in the preferences window of Arduino IDE. Last step is to select your board. I have used Node MCU with default configuration. That's all about the code. Now, hit upload button to upload the code. You can use the serial monitor for checking the status of the email alert. That's all. This is for today. If you have any question, then comment below. See you in another video. Bye.